Good evening. How's it going, Las Vegas? Woo! Man, I'm with Justin, man. It's good to see human beings in person, right? I want to shout out to the band we heard on our way in here. Right? Gary Fowler out there, Patrick Hogan. I, I don't know the others, but um, I see Jeff out there. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm John Katzlamitis for the uh, Uninitiated. I write the Cats column for the Las Vegas Review Journal on page 3A every day and online all the time, as we say. And the great thing about my job, what's great about what I do, aside from all of it, is I get to meet so many fascinating people because the world comes to Las Vegas. A few years ago, I met a trumpet player and singer who was establishing a presence on the Las Vegas Strip. At the time, he was well known as Lady Gaga's friend and band leader, and it turned out we had a lot of friends here in Las Vegas as well. And I learned Brian Newman was originally from Cleveland and for, and for years had been living and performing in Brooklyn. If you know anything about Brooklyn, if you're naive enough, they'll sell you a bridge there. You can buy it. And Brian Newman knows all about bridges. He's bridged the gap between his home in Brooklyn and Las Vegas with his after dark residency at Nomad Restaurant which is on the strip but feels a lot like a late night hang in New York as well. He's bridged the gap between places like Dwayne Park in Manhattan to the Copa Room at Bootlegger Bistro. He's bridged the gap between his friend Lady Gaga's superstar residency production Jazz and Piano and the great Las Vegas musicians in Santa Fe and the Fat City Horns. Also inducted into the Hall of Fame a couple years ago. Brian hired that horn section to perform in the orchestra for Gaga's show at Park MGM, which I will tell you is my favorite show on the Strip maybe ever. Brian also bridged the gap between this university and the UNLV Jazz Studies program. Because those players in Santa Fe, many of them, have, were either, have either studied here at UNLV or taught here or both. And on a personal note, Brian has bridged the, divi the divide between a killer musician from back east and a journalist who is originally from Idaho. What we have in common is a love for Las Vegas, its history, and its position as entertainment capital of the world. We are eager to celebrate its past, enjoy its present, and chart its future. Please help me welcome the first UNLV College of Fine Arts Newcomer Award winner, Brian Newman. Brian Newman. 